Yo, what's up squad? Today's episode is going to be another 90 day fiasco series. If you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button slash notification bell to join Saw Squad and start receiving weekly bangers. No more talking. Roll the clip. Ashley, I'm 31 years old and I'm from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Currently, I'm working as a bartender. I'm also a mother of two small children, but being a mom is, you know, one of the greatest gifts you can have. Good. I like how as soon as she said being a mother is one of the greatest gifts, TLC cuts straight into a scene with her punching some pads. TLC likes to throw these subliminal messages just to keep you on your toes. So what you trying to say, TLC? What you trying to say? Hmm? Two parents need to beat their fucking kids. On second note, I'm gonna have to give this woman a salute. She made the smart judgment to keep her children's face away from public's view. Unlike somebody I know from the grapevine. Again? Nice, good. Whatever free time I have, I normally go and take some self-defense classes. Bruh. Again? But it's very important to me. What the fuck? What the? Ashley, baby girl, if you're gonna learn some self-defense martial arts, please make sure the man has a certification and not some random dude that got his martial art degree from watching Enter the Dragon. Now, I'm not no martial arts expert, but I know damn sure a kick should not be looking like this and throwing an elbow shouldn't be playing patty cakes with pads. Just saying. To be a strong woman, I kind of have to be. I'm pretty much on my own. So I hold a gun to you? What are you gonna do? Give me your money. Good. Now as you pull the gun away, don't forget to point it to your head. Like this, senpai. Good. Now this is why people need certification. This man is teaching some deadly techniques. Not against the shooter, but against the victim. Jesus let's Christ. be real and let's be honest. If you had a Glock, let me repeat, a Glock to your face, what do you think is faster? His trigger pull? Throw a fresh round into chamber. Or your shaky hands using a technique that 99% of the time doesn't work. Do you know the reason why no one has come forth and said that this technique doesn't work? Because they're probably dead. Boom, mind blown. I've been engaged twice. I left both times because I was cheated on and I don't put up with that. Do it again? After my second engagement failed, it all kind of started to hit me like, hey, I've had all these bad issues with men. I'm just going to give myself time. Two hours later. I went to Jamaica with a group of friends and family to a big wedding. And um, one night we decided to go out to a bar and that's where I met Jay. Yo! What's with the TLC boys in fishnets? Why the fuck is Jay Rock in the tire You can see through me like Virginia Peach! Bruh, look at this dude! <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Jokes aside though, let's break down the logistics. We have a blonde woman, a single mother, two children, two failed engagement, a bartender, and now a young Jamaican man in fishnets. Sounds like a disaster in the making, but that's what we came for, bruh. Jay is definitely the life of the party, and he's only 20 years old. So he's very young. You know, he's 11 years younger than I am. I know he can't wait to come and get that, babe. But TLC really got Jay looking like he's that one kid trying to snap real quick for his girl before his mom walks in. Come on, bruh. It seems like the fishnets are getting the brothers to do the most. Jay, you are a pile of tatted bones. I know he can't wait to come and get that, babe. She doesn't need to come get that. She needs to come get you some Pediasure protein shakes. Hey. In my past, I've been attracted to the very clean-cut, white boy kind of guys. Jay is extremely different. Jesus <laughs> yeah, he's different, all right. Ain't no man in their right mind would be trying to do the crab walk on your knees while humping your face, Ashley. But hey, to each their own. Six months after we began talking, I went back over to Jamaica. There's just something about him. Like a feeling I've never felt for anybody in my life. Hey, I don't even need to say. Is that BBC? No, I mean, the same one that got Angela knocked up is the same one that got Ashley coming back from war. What can I say? The brothers are blessed. I'm friends with a monster that's under my bed. Bruh. We probably spent eight days together. And then he surprised me with a proposal. <laughs> 
props for beating Larissa and Colt by 72 hours. Well, this explains a lot why your last two engagements were a flop. How are you going to be engaged with the dude after eight days? Don't you want to get to know the guy for your children's sake? You know, the same ones that you left behind to go to Jamaica. But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping the sauce. Someone sent Jay to me to kind of be like, hey, you've been through hell. Here's something that's really going to bring some light to your life and make you happy. I don't know, Ashley. The Cupid that I know ain't that generous. My dear Ashley, I've watched your entire life. I've seen you been through hell not once but twice. Well, here's a third just for the hell of it. Get it? Ha ha! Pew! Did I'm a good rapper? <laughs> it's like I've been living my whole life in black and white Until I broke down and got my ass on that flight Got me shopping in your jewelry, hey, so it's you and me Damn, what well, they hate to stink, hey, you don't ruin me you know, they say the typical Jamaican men kind of run through women, very smooth, going around, you know, their girlfriends back with other women and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's how he used to be. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get- But I'm hoping that he's changed his ways. I don't understand how some women feel like they can magically change a man to be who they want them to be, especially if he's 20 years old. He's too young for you to settle with him, but he's too old for you to try to mold him. He's going to need that 7 to 10 years of learning through mistakes, maturing, and building his foundation. Until then, anything he does will be justified as being young and reckless. And you're at that stage where your risk tolerance is not as high as it used to be, especially with your kids. Just saying. Jay and I decided he should move to the U.S. So we applied for the K-1 visa. You know, I'm a little nervous, but I'm hoping that the third time is a charm. Before I head over to Jamaica, I'm meeting my best friend, Natalie, to talk about me soon leaving to meet Jay. I have met Jay, vacationing, partying, and have a lot of concerns about Jay. The biggest plot twist would be if Jay also slept with Natalie, and that's why she's so adamant that he's cheating on her. Because it was you this whole time, Natalie. It was you this whole time. I just want to be really happy and excited for you. But, like, my concern is... I know that you still to this day, you still to this day think that you cheated on me. When she went to Jamaica with me, Natalie accused Jay of um, cheating on me. She claims that she heard Jay saying, you know, that he was having sex with two other women. But, she, like, she had no proof of anything. Just her words. You said he's cheating. He says he's not cheating. So that's where the problem that I mean, is between I don't you two. Think that I just made something up in my head for no reason. If I was her best friend and I was spitting facts about what I heard, I would have been pissed and walked off. You're gonna value words from some dude who you only know for 8 days over the words of your best friend who's looking out for your well-being? No, you go take that out, Ashley. I tried. You can't babysit stupidity. Like, my goal is to always protect you. Right. But maybe I don't care what Jay does when I'm not over there. Bruh. Regardless of what he had going on in the past, this girl, that girl, any girl, what no What he girl. does in Jamaica when I'm not there is not my business. So it's like Vegas. What happens in Jamaica stays in Jamaica. Exactly. Bruh. Bruh. This girl has lost her goddamn mind. What do you mean it's not your business? JKP having a freestyle eight-way orgy right now and you're saying it's not your business? What about transmitted diseases? Are you gonna act like it's not your business when your kids need you and you're in the hospital wondering what an HIV is? What the fuck happened to? Because I was cheated on and I don't put up with that it's just, um, you know, he's young and we're very far apart from each other right now. I'm not saying that we have an open engagement or anything by any means. Bruh. But I can't expect Jay to be 100% behaved over in Jamaica. Just because you're having a long distance relationship doesn't mean you're in an open relationship. Let's get that out the way. Now I can't help but think about her kids. The same woman that wanted her kids protected from the TLC publicity is the same woman that's betting her kids fatherhood on a man who she doesn't believe can stay committed to her. We've been living a long distance relationship. So yeah, I really don't, I'm not, it's not my business really what he's doing when I'm not there. Bruh. Honestly, if Jesus came down from heaven right now and said he cheated on me, I wouldn't do anything about it. Bruh. But if Jay cheats on me here in the US, I would have to send him packing and back home. Bruh. Okay, okay, that logic totally makes sense. So as long as Jay doesn't cheat on you on US soil, all is good in the world. So anytime Jay wants to cheat, all he has to do is walk across the US border, do his little dilly dilly, then come back in. Now you know how stupid that logic sounds, Ashley? Good. That's exactly what you sound like. Now after you leave this little meeting, I need you to walk your cutie ass down to your local Walgreens and get yourself drug tested. Two. Day. Oh, crazy ass.
Final thoughts? Well, Ashley's a fine young woman. She seems to be a bit antsy for love and due to that, she's downplaying her situation. I believe she knows Jay is young and immature, as he should be, but is willing to bypass some of that for a chance that he could mature by being with her. The only thing I wish she would consider a little more is her children. Jay might not ever be considered the real dad, but he's still going to be a father figure. He's going to be someone that the kids will look up to and possibly emulate. And the risk of his departure would not only emotionally strain Ashley, but could emotionally strain her kids if they built that relationship. It's just not a risk that I would take if I was in her situation. Now flip the script, I don't personally believe that Jay's in it solely for the green card or anything like that. I think he does love Ashley, but not to the extent that she's going to need. Let me explain. He's a 20 year old, still trying to figure out his own footing, his own future, his own place in the world. Through his eyes, the world is yet to be seen and anything that piques his interest will attract him. It's also something that Ashley needs to consider is that he's still trying to figure out what he likes, whether that's in a woman, in his life, in his work, or in himself. He's still in that process of building his foundation for his future. We can all agree that the mindset and eyes of a 20 year old is going to change drastically when he or she surpasses 30. Those younger years are there for you to take risk, explore and find yourself. It's a time where responsibilities are low, abilities are high, so possibilities are endless. So Jay might feel like he's doing the right thing for Ashley, but it's also very likely that he could have a change in direction or heart down the road. We'll just have to see. If you have any questions or want to know what I do on a daily basis or just want to say hi, hit that follow button and give your boy some love. With that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great week and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Is this what you expected? Is this what you expected? Is this shit what you planned? Was this shit how you saw it? I'm just asking, I mean, I just, I just can't understand. I mean, maybe I'm tripping. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Here, maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, boy, you cute? Hey.